Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On Our Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. You already know, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below or video request. Make sure to drop them below as well. I will be happy to make a video for you too. Same as the over 100 videos I made now on Shopify customization. They were mostly requests from subscribers and some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Just a like button will help me out. I would really appreciate it. And actually, if you are interested in, in Shopify customization and you want to be an expert, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It's completely free. I don't sell any courses and never will. I don't uh, have any membership content or something like that. Uh, all the content I do create, I do provide it or post it completely free on this channel. You just have to skip around some ads, but I think that's the case for most of the videos on YouTube, right? And here I am again, back with another request actually, which is how to add the scrolling or the moving announcement bar, sorry, on your Shopify store. And I mean the scrolling text or marquee effect, many names for it. And I mean the scrolling text on the, or the movie text on the announcement bar. So without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, by the way, this is the Shopify dashboard. And in here I have down team, which is the uh, version. I mean the down team, which is the team I do demonstration on in the videos. And they have 15 version, which is the last one as of now. But below here, I have every other team installed, which is they sense refresh spotlight and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually do the trick behind the scenes in each one of these. So even if you're not using down team, you're using one of these, it should work for you just fine. Because as I said, I do try the trick behind the scenes in one, all of them. And I don't do that in the video, so I don't bore people out. So <laughs> let's just quit talking again and let's just get to it. So let me access Shopify store, which is this one that I do the trick on. And by the way, if you are interested in uh, having the search bar like this instead of search icon without having to click on it, make sure to check out my channel. I already posted that video as well as the transparent header. If you scroll down, you can see it's not transparent anymore. If I scroll it up, it is transparent and many, many more. So make sure to check out the channel. But what I'm talking about in this video is this one right here, this little guy. So this text, I want it to be scrolling. So I want it to start from the right and keep like this moving to the left. And that's exactly what I'm about to do in this video. And you can actually buy this code that will do, by the way, we'll use a code, no apps. I don't use apps. I rarely, rarely use apps in my tutorials. I mostly use code. So I will, we will do that by using a custom code. And this code will actually allow you to customize the speed this text passing by. So you can customize the speed if it's faster, slower, whatever you want. And I have a fix as well if you want because this code will actually make this announcement bar a little bit bigger, just slightly bigger. I do provide you in this video with another code that will actually fix that and make it even smaller than this you see right now. So no worries, as I said, I got you in every direction. So without any more talking again, let's just quit talking and get to it. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So obviously get back to Shopify dashboard. And the next thing you're going to do is as always, click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. It will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And the next thing you're going to do is click on the search bar at the top left corner because we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the files here on folders, simply use the search bar and type in announcement. Same as the announcement bar, right? And you will see announcement bar dash bar, sorry, announcement dash bar dot liquid. Click on it and you will see a bunch of code in here. No worries, no worries. Just <laughs> you click on it just like you want to write something. And don't write anything. Just use the keyboard. And if you are on Windows, click on Control F. If you are on Mac like me, click on Command F just like I did. Then it will show you the search bar right here. Then in here, we need to find the specific code as I said. And in order to find it, simply uh, type in H5. After that, click on enter and it will highlight the H5 or this specific uh, section that we need in here, as you can see. This is the section that we do need, as you can see. So in here, we're going to paste in some code. In order to get that code, you need to hire a developer, pay him with 24 hours, provide you the code and check if it's working or not. 
You will not do that here. Just scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as called. Simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're gonna see this very short call as you can see. This little thing will do the trick. But hold on, follow my directions correctly. So the first thing you're gonna do is select the first line. Then right click and copy. Just the first line. Yes, I, I skipped this. I, I did that on purpose. I didn't copy this. Yes, you should. You should not copy that. Only the first line. Right click and copy. After that, get back in here and simply paste it behind P. You see this little thing? I don't know what it's called in English. I apologize. English is like the third or the second foreign language for me. So I apologize. Simply click behind the P and paste it in here. That was simple, right? You might see some lines pop up, no worries, no worries. Then get back to the code in here. Then again, select the last thing, which is this thing right here, right click and copy, only this thing, right click and copy. And get back to the code editor and paste it above the second P. What is the second P in here, as you can see. So this is the first one, it was at the beginning, now it's here. And the second one is below this end F. You see this end F, the green one? Below it, you will see a P, closer of P. Click on it, click front of it, I mean, and paste in the second thing we did. Oh, the lines are gone now, right? <laughs> so I think we're good now, right? Then simply click on the save button in here. And let's just wait for a couple of seconds. We will get back in here, reload the page. And here we go. As you can see, the bar is a little bit bigger no worries i got you i will show you how to fix that and the text it might be scrolling too fast right and if you remember i said the code will allow you actually speed up the text or slow it or anything like that so as you can see it says here scrollman 20. so if you want it like slower then decrease the number if you want it faster increase the number that's that's simple right so we will do like uh, maybe 14 let's just do 14 and click on save we will get back in here and check the speed if it's the same or slower okay how it is right now ah it's much slower now so you can adjust the number until you pick the exact speed you want on your shopify store so as i said i will show you how to fix like the bigger because it looks big and by the way if you think that the text looks small and you want to know how to make the announcement bar text bigger, make sure to check out my channel. I already posted that video. So as I said, we will show you first how to resize this announcement bar so it will be smaller, not huge like this. And to do that, simply get back to the code editor and again, use the search bar at the top left corner, type in team, and you will find team.liquid. Click on it, then at first here, you will see this head, as you can see. Click front of it, then hit enter because we're gonna create a new space in here to paste in some code, as always. And where are you gonna get the code from? You need to hire a developer, no worries, no worries. Just scroll down the description box and you will see a link named it as code fix. Code fix, not the first one, just code. Then click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're gonna see this little thing, as you can see. So this code will actually fix for us this issue yeah and i forgot it will even change the size so <laughs> it's too many videos i'm recording and making so uh, anyway so it will actually resize the text as well so no worries then select the whole code make sure to select the whole thing then right click copy get back to the code editor and paste it below head as you can see if you add uh, font size i think you already understand what this is this is font size the size and this is the padding, like, uh, let me show you this in action so you'll understand. Let me click on save. So after the changes, we'll save it. We will get back in here, reload the page and check it out. It's much smaller now, as you can see. And the text is still actually scrolling, as you can see. You can, if you want it like bigger, you see this says padding. We can do like nine, maybe. You just click on save, get back in here, reload the page. And it's bigger, as you can see, it increased in size. I think now it looks perfect. Yeah, it does. Nine is perfect. And the font sizes as well is the text size. So let's just do 20, uh, 20, 24 is too much. Let's just do just 22. 
or 23 yeah let's just keep it 23 save we will get back in here let's just see the text that we can see here we go see how it looks like let's just reload the page and now whoa check it out text is much bigger now and i think it looks huge don't make it like this make it a little bit smaller and that's how you add the moving announcement bar on your shopify store or the scrolling text or the marquee effect whatever they call it this is how you do it by using a custom code and this is how you fix the issue if you got the announcement bar gets bigger when you apply this feature if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one